Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And we talked about uh, ransomware gangs that got um, dismantled and arrested. Um, and, of course, one of the things you might wonder, if you ever get hit by ransomware, maybe you have ransomware and you've got some files that are encrypted, what can I do? Is there a way for me to decrypt? Of course, this all depends on the type of ransomware you've got. The most recent ransomware, uh, you might not be able because there might not be any decryptors out there. And the only way f when it's something very recent is to pay the bad guys, which I always say, don't do it. Don't pay the bad guys. That's why you should always have backups to prevent that. Uh, but if it's an old version of a ransomware, or if you had ransomware attack in the past, files got encrypted, and you ended up with um, you know files that are encrypted somewhere, and you wonder, can I do something with that? Um, one website that might have a solution for you is um, No More Ransom. NoMoreRansom.org is where you actually can uh, check out if something is possible. Uh, one of the things that you can do here, which is kind of nice, is look at Crypto Sheriff, which will tell you if something can be or not decrypted. What it's going to do, uh, it's going to ask you to choose a file from the PC, and then you, of course, can choose another uh, file, and then you will actually... Uh, just it says here, type below any email, web site URL, and or Bitcoin address you see in the ransom demand. Um, and be careful with the spelling. And basically, there you could click go find out, and it's going to tell you if there's a possibility of decryption of your files or not. And if it if there is, they're going to tell you the tools. Or else you can try to find out what type of ransomware you've got. Uh, usually ransomware will encrypt your files and put it uh, with a very special extension. That extension will often tell you what type of ransomware, what's the name of it. And here you can go to decryption tools and you can see if one of those decryption tools might actually be uh, good for you to decrypt uh, the different files that have been encrypted by the bad guys. Of course, remember that if it's an old encryption, probably there's a good chance you might have it here. But if there is no, um, if it is very recent, that might not be any tools here that can help you. But that's your best bet, the best way that you can try it. Uh, remember, um, you know, I get from time to time this request of, help me, I got ransomware, my files are encrypted. Uh, tell me how to, uh, you know, get them back. Well, there are two ways and only two ways. Either by paying the bad guys or if you're lucky, decryption tools free here might help you. If none of these two solutions are for you, your files will stay encrypted forever. So, uh, of course, the thing to understand is that you should never, ever, ever pay bad guys with ransomware, that's why they continue, because they get and make a lot of money out of it. And that's where a good backup is very, very important, because if you get ransomware on the system, but all the files are backed up somewhere else, well, you just reformat, reinstall Windows from scratch, and you go get your files back, and there's no problem. So the link to the page is in the description below, nomoreransom.org. Uh, you can go and check it out. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.